Excusez-moi. Uh, oh, demain, Piguet. So we are at Elite Rent-A-Car here in Geneva. Today, we are going to take a Porsche 911 GTS into the mountains. It's a gorgeous sunny day, and we're going to explore some of the watch factories. What a beautiful day. Don't you think this is gorgeous? It is absolutely lovely. Here's, um, our, here's our transport. What better way to spend the day? I know. Isn't that amazing? Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. So this is Anthony from Elite Rent-A-Car. Elite are all across Europe. Anybody want to get us really beautiful car you have all sorts of things you even have limos right yeah absolutely so with drivers and the whole the whole whiz bang the whole thing the whole shebang so france germany italy spain wherever you're going elite rent a car they have very generously lent us this car today and we're going to show you some of the beautiful alps in switzerland and the scenes are you ready i am ready sir hop in all right so let's do all the important things loud exhaust on sport suspension on this is the nose lifter which we don't need. So do you know what I have in um, in my uh, AMG GTC? What? There's a G-force meter, which is really kind of fun and cool. Does this have it? Uh, it does. There you go. G-force meter, yeah. So now it's, you can see how much Gs you make. Yeah. And you know what this is called, right? A bullseye. The little red dot in the middle. It's the G-spot. Well, I suppose it is. <laughs> you finally found it. Welcome to the very scenic, what was a cornfield here in the middle of the Swiss Alps, in the middle of absolutely nowhere. And what do we find right behind us? The Hublot factory. I mean, why would they put it here? This is the crazy thing about Switzerland, is that you have agriculture and nature and countryside. It's dead. And watches. Well, I think it's been ploughed or, or cultivated. It doesn't look healthy. <laughs> But look, Hublot. So this is where Hublot is made. And we're gonna give you a little tour of some of the scenic factories. I think we're gonna visit AP, and who we're gonna visit, Adam? Uh, well, once we get up to the town, we'll pull up the list because there's a lot in that one town. Yeah, and we'll peek in some of the windows because in the next video or an upcoming video, we're going inside these amazing factories and you're gonna to get to see how watches are made. So uh, yeah, let's continue our little hike through the banana field. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they look like bananas, don't they? Well, not really. Those famous Swiss bananas. What do they look like to you? What was this, corn? Uh, probably, yeah. I mean, look at these little guys. There's a corn on or the cobs maize, waiting to happen. Maybe? Isn't that corn? Wheat? Wheat's different. I'm not a farmer, Me I don't either. know. But I know this is where hublots are made. Right there, see, hublot. I know a person that would actually hate this building. I respect it, but you know, not everybody has the same thought process. So we're about halfway up the hill here in the Alps and we thought we would stop and show you this. You've just got to see this amazing, amazing view. And far back there in the, in the distance at the very end of Lake Geneva, you can still see, I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up. Can you, can you pick it up, Adam? I'll do the my best. The fountain, it's just glorious, absolutely glorious. And then this way, looking this way, you have like a forest and some just beautiful scenery. Got to share that with you. So yeah, we'll continue our little trip up the hill. It's not a hill, it's a mountain, it's a big mountain. We're up, what, 3,000 feet right now? We are at 2,600, 2,842 feet. Not a bad guess, right? Doing well, let's continue. So if you ever wanted to know where your watches came from, we are now in La Brassus. La Brassus. What he said. I do my best. And you can buy a mini combine harvesters <laughs> for sale. 07 a combine harvester. Guys, 
This is where your watches come from. In this little village in the middle of absolutely nowhere, we've driven like an hour and a bit to get here through the Alps, is this town that has AP, they have um, AP. <laughs> Do you like, like to read them? Yeah, read them. All right, so we have <laughs> two APs. Uh, we have uh, Blancpain, we have Bulgari, Romain Gautier, Breguet, Jaeger, or Jaeger, Philippe Jaeger. Dufour, uh, Ariola Alfred. Have you ever heard of him? Ariola? <laughs> Are you sure you Ar said that right? Ariola Alfred. No. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, let's let's take a hike down the mountain. Like I said, combine harvester for sale. Massive fern. Isn't that beautiful? That tree just by itself, and then you can have your cabin in the Alps. This is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, here. absolutely gorgeous. And what a great car to drive in as well. I gotta tell you, this is so much fun. It's it's on the bucket list. Might just have to do one of these. You see a green one in my future? Or a different colour, or maybe none. Who knows? Um Yes. Could you just explain to the audience though, because I know they'll be saying, why are you driving these gorgeous roads with the roof up? And I know they'll be saying, because it's I'm freezing, it. freezing cold. If you notice right now, I'm holding myself from shivering. It's about, I'm guessing, 50 degrees. <laughs> so dramatic. It is. Should we see what the temperature is? Yeah. Le Brasso's 57. 57. I wasn't far out. It's cold. The roof's staying up. Get in the car. <laughs> I need a wee. So when you pull in as an AP client, you get greeted with AP moss. We've seen living walls in houses. We've never seen AP moss. I think that is moss, right? Looks like or yeah. Heather or something along that. No disrespect to Heather. I think it's called Heather. Is it, is it Heather? It's a beautiful shrubbery. So this is really cool. Look at this. Reserve for Direction. Direction AP with the Terminator skull. And we're right here in front of Audemars Pizier. This is where they come from. This is what you can't buy. They won't let you buy one, but this is where they make them. And then they tease you with them. You know your company's making a lot of money when you can afford a building like this up here. You also know that you're making a lot of money when you can have a toy and leave it outside in the drizzle that's worth a lot of money. This is gorgeous. Let's take a little look at amazing. this. It is amazing. What a beautiful car. This is an original one. It's just spectacular and the condition of it, it's like a new car. It's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. So anyway, AP, this is where they are made. So this is one of the buildings if I'm not mistaken, these two buildings to the left are also part of the AP family. I wonder who makes that clock? <laughs> I think it's Amiga. Rolex. <laughs> and they also have two other buildings in this town. Yes, one of them is ultra modern. It's brand new. We're going to show you that too. And uh, yeah, let's keep rolling. This is Hotel. De oh, it's a hotel for yeah. the jewelers. I guess that's when people come from the boutiques to, yeah, yeah. to visit and clients. Very nice. And everybody smokes here. Yeah, it is weird, isn't it? It's very Not strange. Not no, fan. Not a fan of the smoking. So we just had an emergency call of nature. Too much detail. Look at this. This is not something that you will see in New York City. Not something you'll see in Los Angeles, but you will see it in La Brazos. Did I say that right? Very good. Look at this, and there's a clock. Don't know what it does. See the head's turning. Yeah, I do. You see the numbers, seven, eight, nine, ten. So those are the hours, and I guess, I don't know. Do you think that that clock is powered by the water here? Because 100%. that spool goes in, doesn't it? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, it's a water clock. Let's walk up there and look at the waterfall. Okay, let's do that. This, Michael Fact, is the hydroelectric power plant for the clock. Do you think? Do you think if I throw a, a dime in, it'll bring good luck? Yeah. I don't have a dime. What do you got? A you. I'll throw you in. <laughs> so that is the coolest solar panel I've ever seen. Wow. Why don't we have things like that? So I wonder whose factory this is going to be. Has to be like. It's massive. Rolex or somebody. It's massive. Where is the Rolex factory? Do you know? Geneva. Oh, it is? Like in Geneva itself? I think so. Ah. 
tractor on the 405. I look at this building here, look how crazy it is. It's corrugated steel. Not that, that. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, what's so exciting about that? Oh, that's amazing. So now we just pulled up outside the Blanc Pong. I probably got that wrong, but something like that. Blanc Pong, Blanc Pong factory. Um, it's not the prettiest of buildings, but they do make pretty watches. They make beautiful watches. I think very underrated watches, actually. We've never really done them on the channel, have we? Not really, no. But in Europe, they're highly, highly respected. People love them. In the States, not so much. Don't know why. We need to bring some on the channel. We'll do that in the future. I agree. All right, let's move on. Where are we going? Next up, je gère la coutre. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> je gère la coutre. <laughs> Is it Italian? Je gère la coutre. Je, je, ma, ma, pelle, pelle. Je m'appelle. Mi poupou. Yeah, yeah, you're the cooter, man. Come on, man, let's go. Jager, Jager the coutre. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> So it's, it's quite amazing. You see these these factories that kind of look like they're from a communist block, right? Yeah. And then you see these beautiful, beautiful buildings in these quaint little towns. It, it's quite the juxtaposition. And uh, you know, we, we've been passing some buildings that ornate. They've got flowers up the wall, very, very pretty and maintained. And then you get these like concrete block buildings where the watches were made, right? Yeah, it's definitely very interesting. It's not at all what I anticipated uh, from Switzerland in terms of like where the watches were made. I just thought they would all be made in a city. Right. Well, this is, I guess it is a city, but it's a very small one. Or maybe right. it's a town. I would call this a town. Yeah, a I mean, village. The, we're on the high street right now. This is it. So this is actually really cool. As you cross over the road here, you can see the watchmakers working, making the watches. This person right here is manufacturing a hairspring. No, they're not. I don't know what they're doing, but it's kind of cool. Let's fantasize about the hairspring. Look at the machinery. That is amazing, isn't it? That you can literally see them like assembling them through you the window. See windows. down here, look. Hi, hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That is funny, right? <laughs> Producer Michael channel. <laughs> So they have this building here and then also the next one down by the looks of it. Yes. This is a very uh, high tech looking building. It certainly is. Completely different to most of what we've seen so far. Let's, uh, let's wave, see if the, the gentlemen wave back. <laughs> How fun. What, ti what time is it please? But I mean, seriously, look at this. I know, I know. This is your I view. Know. Someone's beautiful house here. And then look, look at your surroundings, and then this, totally out of place. Obviously, you've been to the factories before, so you have. knew where they were, yes. you know, geographically. Yes. I am absolutely amazed that they're in these small, quaint Not what you villages. expected no, at all, right? not at all. No. I was thinking they were made in like big factories in, on industrial units somewhere or industrial estates somewhere. I had not a clue that there would be tractors driving by the window. And, and, and the Porsche together. 911 GTS that stands out like a sore thumb. <laughs> it, it, oh, look at this tractor. That's uh, a he's machine. Just, he's just one up this guy. Oh my word. You, That's the, the guy she tells you not to worry about. Look at that. <laughs> Full of shit. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh, my, oh, it stinks. <laughs> oh, he, oh. That was that was manure. Oh, I know. That was, that was manure. That was like five thousand kilos of manure. I feel ill. <laughs> I'm going to go and buy a watch. <laughs> I have to cheer myself up. Come and look at this big machine. That is a Paranasonic Super Sarsenian machine. You're mental today. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what it does. So. The 17th cog that attaches to the 14th arm where the, where the bridge is attached to somehow the case. In that machine, they make a screw. Michael fact, it's all fake. Yeah, get it, <laughs> you see? Look at the tail position. He looks very perplexed. Oh my God, that's a first for me. Oh, he's following you through with a number two. <laughs> I'm glad we missed that part. <laughs> That's funny. 
Did, did, did the camera get it? I've no idea. <laughs> you saw it, I've never right? seen you so excited. <laughs> I think that was just funny. <laughs> <laughs> the tail, the tail was magnificent. I mean, it was, it was just... I've never seen you so excited about something. Like it was the tail. I mean, you don't get to see that. When do you get to see a, a cow, baby cow take a pee and the tail be all, you know, discombobulated? <laughs> okay. You are mental. Brigade. There you go. There's Brigade. Okay, so I'm going to pull in here. So this is Brigade. And Brigade is very famous for inventing the tourbillon. Louis Brigade was the actual person who worked with, I believe it was, we found this out yesterday, Arnold and Sons. Was that correct? There was John Arnold, who was an English watchmaker that worked with Breguet, although it was Louis Breguet who actually invented the tourbillon. But they make fantastic watches, and this is an ugly building. So that's enough of Breguet. Let's go to Girard Perigot. What do you think? Let's do it. Let's go find some cows. Okay. All right. Bye. <laughs> Look, he's got a nose ring. Ah, he's very woke. Hello, number seventeen thirteen. Hello, Hello, you're very cute. Very healthy. Yeah. Oh, Aww. it's nice. These are. Oh, the... there's one having a wee. <laughs> it must be your attraction. You get them excited. <laughs> What's the deal with the cows and the wees? Do you think these are the brigade cows? Maybe. It's very close to its leg. Look. <laughs> That manure really ponged. <laughs> that was nasty. Okay, so so this is Gir Gerard Perigot. Not, it isn't. We don't know where it is. We can't find it. We're not going there. But I said we were going there. We're I know leaving. where it is. It's 44 miles away. We're not going there. So we're going to pretend that this is Gerard Perigot. And that man there is the chief watchmaker. Show him. See, look how he's mechanically inclined. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's a good job. It's a good job that I haven't been drinking. <laughs> it's this sleep deprivation, isn't it? Okay. So one of these is AP. It is? Yeah. These are tractor factories. No, one of these is AP. I think it might be that one there. It's just not labeled. Oh, look, it's a dead end. So this, in actual fact, is the AP factory. And this is where they make some cogs. No? Wheels. We have no idea. I don't think it's the AP factory, Adam. It, that's what it says. That's what Google Maps says. Odomar Piguet Village is what it's called. Really? Yeah. There's not one reference to Odomar Piguet. I think that's Odomar Piguet. It's much more impressive. I'm going to drive in front of it and see if it has a sign. Well, he's fixing the gate. You're not allowed to. Oh, well, maybe maybe, maybe we can ask him. Let's ask him. Watch my French. Excusez-moi. Uh, Audemars Piguet. It's great Maybe. French. Excuse me, yes. Audemars Piguet. <laughs> Excuse see. me, Audemars Piguet. Pardon. Audemars Piguet. Uh, you see? Uh, Breguet. 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 Ah, Breguet. E, e, uh. e, that's Spanish. Ah. ah, okay. So go down there, back a bit, and it's go on right. the Duat. Yeah. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. I did well then, I thought. I did au revoir, I did bonjour, I did pardon. Uh, you what, did uh, e for and. E for Spanish. <laughs> but espanol hablo, pero francés no hablo. We are on the top of Mont Blanc. No, we're not. We are in the Alps. Yes, we are. High up in the Alps. As high up as it goes. Well, at least around here. Very high. And we are in Geneva, Switzerland, saying goodbye to you after the most sensational first day. It's not really the first day, but it's the first video, right? Are we going to let them into that movie magic? Yeah. Okay, you can tell them. We've recorded so much fun stuff. I mean, we've been in factories, we've been with all the latest watches with the CEOs of I don't know how many watch brands who have personally shown us their latest watches that just got released this week. And you guys are in for a blast. And we took this, as you know, show you where the factories are, 
and I'm saying goodbye. I am so tired, I'm going to sleep. Good night, in it to win it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I think it's the altitude. Bye.